Hi everyone, this is Akio from the Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. Today I'm going to show you how to create an automated ring component using different profile curve drawing in Rhino. When the different curve is applied, ring will update automatically and ring size can be changed instantly. Okay, let's get started. First, start with a circle. So circle component. And circle will be sitting on a front viewport. So I need XZ plane. And the radius. To get the value list. And I put the ring size inside the value list. And so this is the diameter and this is asking radius. Well, I need a bifocal. So we need to divide this diameter divided two goes to the radius of the circle. Good. Okay. We need to change the seam of this circle in order to place the cross section at the right place. So I will get this curve seam component. And the target, I will do 0 less than 1.00. Don't forget to reparameterize this circle. This is a ring circle and I will group it. I have this profile curve and I will apply these curves to Grasshopper. So get two curve param. I will start with maybe this one, that one in the middle, set one curve, the bottom one, set one curve. Then I will get the bounding box. And deconstruct prep. I will disable preview and this is the construct prep. So we wanted to find out this edge, what the list number is. So the list item and make a number slider zero less than four. And you connect this to edge. And you will see that what edge is, so this is a two, one, so this bottom edge is a zero, so zero is a right list. And point on curve. And curve closest point. This goes to the point, and this goes to the curve. And I can change the seam point and I will set to midpoint, point 50. And then getting a seam and T goes to the T and curve goes to the cross section. And we will reparameterize the both curve here. Okay, then uh, we're going to place this cross section to the ring circle. So this is a ring circle. We need to get a per frame right here. I reparameterize this curve. What reparameterize mean that um, I talked about before, uh, instead of the real length, so value, we will set the value from 0 to 1. This curve will go to the seam, which is a circle, and uh, 0 to 1. So the target will be 0, 0 less than 1.00. And set to 0. Then we need rotate plane. We rotate the plane. So rotate 
make a number slider 0 to 90 and I need to change this to degree we will see how this angle means that the once we put the geometry on a plane we will set this to 90 for a moment I am placing a cross section on the ring circle so we need to orient the geometry is this cross section this A goes to point on curve here point on curve and B goes to here on the plane okay so here the circle Okay, here we go. You can see it. So now here is a plane, and this is the right angle, the 90 degrees. All right. So we will place the other cross section as well. So basically, copy and paste this, and uh, change the uh, uh, connection. Okay, here we go. And need another orient. Geometry goes to the seam and A goes to the point on curve. Okay, I need another per frame and rotate plane. And then this B goes here. Here we go. Now two planes at the same location. The slider has to be moved to point 50 to be exactly at the bottom of the circle. Okay, now sweep one rail. The ray goes to the seam of the circle. Then this cross section is disorient. Here we go and press the shift key. Okay. Here it looks like the from the side view. And then you can play with the different cross section. Change it to that half round wire. Now the top cross section has been changed to the half round. Now I'm going to create a cluster. So cluster is like a custom component. All the components in this definition will be packed in a one unit. Okay, so let's get started. So the cluster, we need a cluster input and output. So on the left side, we need a cluster input. So we need a three of them. I connect the first input to the A of the divide where the value list was connected and I'll put this on the left so that we can connect it later and here is a upper cross section and here is a lower cross section good then I'll put this curve on the side okay then the right side right side has a cluster output And connect to sweep one rail. Okay, then window select from the cluster input to cluster output and click the cluster. 
So all the components are packed into this cluster. Now this value is go here and curve and curve. Then I will change the name here. So first one is uh, ring size. And second one upper curve. And last one is a bottom curve. Then right side, I will name it the ring. Then the cluster name, I will make it ring by profile curve. So this is the name of the component. Here we go. Okay, then I have a bunch of cross sections right here. And I will going to put the display color here and color swatch. The bottom cross section right now is half round and uh, this one on the top. But uh, we can change it to, for example, this one. Right click, set one curve. So now it is updated. We can change it to polygon. So I would change the bottom to this oval. Here we go. It's more rounded. Also, you can modify the profile curve in the Rhino, and the ring will be updated. So for example, I'll make this the lip shape a little higher, or maybe wider. See, it's updated, as well as this cross section. I hope everyone found this definition helpful and you can replicate it and enjoy the new automated ring component. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.